first alert weather with meteorologist John Hickey. Crazy comeback by the Cavs, too. They were down 3-1 to one in the series and came back to win it all. I know we have a production assistant here wearing his LeBron James jersey today. He's very happy about that victory, so uh, congrats to uh, the Cleveland Cavaliers. 91, that's as hot as we got today. It's hot enough, ain't it? Average high is 78 this time of year, so well above average and near record territory. Sorry, 92 earlier in Plattsburgh, now down to 89. Not that that makes that much of a difference. 83 at Montpelier, 88 St. Johnsbury, 84 up in Newport. Still some relief along the coast. They're finding some low 70s there thanks to a sea breeze. But uh, of course, a lot of the hot air coming to us here courtesy of the West. Now, one of the things going on this time around with the heat is it's not all that humid. Dew point readings, upper 50s, low 60s. It's not too bad. It's certainly not uh, that air you can wear, but starting to be a little bit more noticeable. And it's the heat and some of this here humidity combination with a cold front that may bring the chance for some thunderstorms for tonight. We're going to break down those chances here in just a sec, but I want to show you the webcam shot from Burlington. Notice the clouds starting to be on the increase here. That's all advancing that cold front and the potential for some strong to severe thunderstorms for tonight. In fact, the uh, Storm Prediction Center in Norman, Oklahoma has a lot of the uh, North Country painted in a level two out of five risk for severe thunderstorms. Greatest risk with these storms would be damaging winds so over 60 miles an hour, perhaps some small hail, but I think the wind will be the big uh, story here. Also a lot of vivid lightning with these storms, although that doesn't help categorize a severe thunderstorm officially by definition. You were looking at Storm Tracker now, just some blend of sun and cloud going on, so nothing too bad locally, but look what's going on west and northwest of Ottawa. Look Look at all those lightning strikes happening now. So that line of storms is going to start to congeal here and continue to move off towards the east. So we're going to be tracking that very carefully for you here in the first alert weather team. Uh, going to be all over this one until this line of storms passes. And you can see it here. Some cooler air is going to filter in behind this and provide some unsettled conditions, at least for a portion of the upcoming week. Want to take you through Futurecast here, time things out. Looking ahead towards eight. So those storms just getting into the Seaway Valley at that point. Pop you up a little bit closer to 10. Those storms starting to march their way through the Adirondacks. Think a lot of the action is here in the Champlain Valley closer to midnight. And then it all shifts east through the Green Mountains and then out over uh, the Connecticut River Valley, generally uh, after, say, 1, 2 o'clock in the morning. So these aren't your severe thunderstorm chances, just general thunderstorm chances. Real good bet across the North Country, about an 80% chance. A little better than 50-50 for a lot of the Champlain Valley. And once you get to the uh, Green and White Mountains, I'm uh, thinking it's closer to about a 4 out of 10 chance. Again, that's not severe weather. That's just to see at least a little lightning and hear a couple of rumbles. Now tomorrow, a much quieter day, a bunch cooler too. All right, we saw temperatures today in the 90s. Tomorrow, only in the mid and upper half of the 70s. Chance for a passing sprinkle going on by by Tuesday afternoon. That chance clears for the night. Going into Wednesday, I think there's another shot, especially in the afternoon, for a few widely scattered showers. Not much rain associated with this, uh, but you know, a couple of sprinkles may bring out the umbrella uh, for just a few moments. So your forecast for tonight, the clouds are increasing. We're tracking the storm. Some of those could be strong or even severe. Overnight lows getting down into the mid 60s. Here's your Tuesday, partly sunny sky, a passing sprinkle possible, and look how much cooler we are. Yeah, right here in the Champlain Valley, only in the mid 70s. Rest of the five day plus two, good bet for some rain, especially south on Thursday. Look at the high that day, only 71 degrees. The rebound begins, though. Looks like next weekend is looking good. I like the streak. I like having nice weekends. I think you will, too. Mid-80s with a lot of sun for the first full weekend of summer.